Hi, I'm Patricia Leonard and I'm a career and small business coach and a songwriter and I've written several books and I, I just do a lot of things. But I just finished a podcast with a couple of business colleagues and I was putting some files away in my office and I ran across something that I thought I wanted to share. And um, it, hopefully it'll be helpful to you as you move through the beginning of 2021. And I've titled it, Some Things I Have Learned in My Life. So I think there's 10 points here that I'd like to share. The first one is to get what you want, you must first know what you want. And I think that those are some things that I've been going through is as I move into a new phase of my life, what is it I, I really want? What is it I really want to do? The second one is to live the life I desire, I must stand up to the plate and back. Naturally, I'm gonna use a sports analogy because I love sports. There will be a few strikeouts, I say, and yes, I've had some of those, but you'll get a home run every now and then if you stay in the game. Another one is the to honor myself and acknowledge my gifts expands my possibilities. And I think too much of the time we forget who we are and what we have to give. We compare ourselves to everybody else or to what we don't have, we look at rather than what we do have. The fourth one, to believe and have faith allows me to move mountains of perceived impossibility. I, I know many times I'll look out there and I'll think, oh, that wouldn't be possible for me. She is really good or he is really good or I'm not that creative. But I think um, to have faith if we have a passion for something and to believe that we can do it if we commit ourselves and then have the faith, we'll move mountains at these things that look like mountains. And as we walk on and walk forward, all of a sudden the mountains seem to be gone. It's just the way it is in life. Number five, to trust that I am exactly where I'm supposed to be, even if it's not where I think I'm supposed to be. You ever been there? We have to know that wherever we are, and I have to remind myself of this all the time, where I am is exactly where I'm supposed to be. And that I have to move forward from there and acknowledge the moment that I'm in and not beat myself up for, no, you're not there. You're not, this is not um, what you should be doing or where you should be. You should be doing this by now. If you were really that good, you would be. And so we have to remember, we are exactly where we're supposed to be and move forward from that and celebrate where we are. Celebrate what we've come to, even if it's not where we think we should be. The sixth one, to realize that life is not linear. Many roads can lead to a desired destination. So many times we get a plan together and we think, oh my goodness, we got to keep going. We got, oh, you got off the plan. But you know what? The idea of a plan is to get you going. And along the way, be open to change that plan if you need to, because that's exactly what you want to do. You make a plan, you create your destination, you start moving toward that. And as new opportunities, or you see more clearly, or people come into your life, remember, it's not linear. Take that side road now and then you may find some things that you didn't even know existed. The next one, to remember that I am not the only person who sometimes feels like giving up. I know, however, that my desire and passion are two parts of me 
that I can call on when I feel like giving up. I can call on my desire. If your desire and your motivation is strong enough, talk about why. Why did I start this? What was it I really wanted? And if your passion is strong enough, you will continue to move forward, even though sometimes you want to give up. Things start to happen. Things fall apart. It didn't go as planned. That's okay. That's life. And maybe it's just a test to see if you're really committed. I've been there and I bet you have too. The seventh one, excuse me, the eighth one, to create magic, I must see myself as a magician. I must define my dream and establish myself as the dream maker of the dreams I have. You be your own magician. You can wave your magic wand and create. Sometimes we wait for somebody else to do it or we forget where we laid our magic wand. We forget that we're even a magician in our own life. Our own cheering and our own waving of our magic wand. Get it out every now and then. Doesn't hurt to play a little game with yourself. Abracadabra, alakazam. I have a passion and that is where I am going. <laughs> <laughs> so be the magician in your life. You truly are. You're the one that can create magic. Number nine, to help others in their journey is a key to helping me in my journey. As I teach or as I help, I learn and I receive. So don't forget that others sometimes just need a little cheering up or a little support or maybe a coaching or just sitting down and having a giggle moment <laughs> or sitting down and playing a game or going for a walk. Everybody needs somebody. That's why we're here or otherwise we would be the only person on this planet. And just because we think we are doesn't mean we are. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one, to be kind to others comes easy. To be kind to ourself requires letting go of destructive self-evaluations. And I think that's one of the most important pieces of these things that I have learned in life. Don't be so hard on myself. We'll give others the leeway sometimes, oh, it didn't go quite as they planned. And we'll say, that's okay. You'll get up tomorrow. When we first learned to walk as a baby, what if we had never tried again or just said, you'll never be able to walk, Patricia. So if things don't come as easy as we think, they should come. Don't be so hard on yourself. Just like you are with others, you get up, and you try again. You may not be perfect the first time. First time you get up to bat, you may not hit a home run. But each time, you'll start to get better at timing of that ball that's coming after you. And when you hit a home run, wow, is that a lot of fun. Learn how to pat yourself on the back. These are just some of the things that I have learned in my life and I just wanted to share them with you. And just a closing comment, may your dreams that you have for your best and highest good all come true. Until we meet again from my office, this is Patricia Leonard in Nashville, Tennessee, saying I love you and I wish you the best. <laughs>